What's up gamer? It's your Freddy here once again and today we got another cool topic for you. But if this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you'll be updated whenever we have a new video. And I know this is no secret, I put it on the title again. <laughs> Alright, so you already know what we're going to talk about today and that is all about constellation. So that's what we are going to do for today. But my constellation build is uh, somewhat different. I am an STR type DK, but my constellation build is for any type because I'm on the hybrid side, okay? If you haven't watched my video about hybrid build, which I'm going to put on the description down below, and I'll put a card on top as well. Those are two part videos, all right? Those are connected to each other. So make sure to check that out so that you would know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you want to know more about constellation, all you have to do is watch this video up until the end sit back and don't forget take it easy let's go yeah okay so uh, i don't know if you still remember this place all right so if you still remember this place back in the pc days go ahead and comment it down below and what you usually do on this place all right i didn't do anything whoa what good thing that i found this spot this is such a memorable spot <laughs> okay so yeah let's go ahead and go to my build so let's go back to the very first build that i have so here's what i found out your constellation would vary depending on how many stars do you have on your equipment so what star am i talking about so these stars right over here those kind of stars that you're getting from your equipment for example this one i got three stars three stars three stars three stars three stars and those stars add up whenever you evolve your items so evolving items is definitely good <laughs> yeah, boy. if you don't know how to save garnets from evolving your equipment i have a video about it as well i'll go ahead and put a link on the description down below and i'll put a card on top as well so that you can save some more money when you evolve your items okay so make sure to check that out but evolving equipment is not our topic but it's somewhat connected to the topic right now that's why i bring it up so there you go so as you evolve your items the stars would definitely go up my second equipment is not yet max with the evolution but my first equipment is max at four stars each and then the zero weight equipment is max at three star each that's why evolution for me is uh, way better than upgrading your item but you're gonna need both anytime soon what about you gamer which one is better upgrading your items using jewels or evolving your items evolutions i don't know so go ahead and comment it down below which one do you think is better to do okay this that's right over here you don't have a choice for it and for the fourth one yeah you don't have a choice for it as well maximum hp i think this is the part where everyone is confused about the times that you have to choose it's all just default star four up until this one is also default critical damage and then attack at star 13 and then at star 17 excellent damage so it's all the same and then attack speed at star 21 all right plus seven you don't actually have a choice but this is when it gets harder to choose right this is when it gets, gets trickier starting at 25th star that's this the time that you'll have to choose so here's how it works if you are an energy type dk then your main focus is really defense but again it depends on build on how you would like to build your character but for me just to make it basic and make it easier for you to decide if you're an energy type dk you're all about defense if you are an sr type dk then you're all about damage actually right at this moment the 25th star i still don't know what type of dk i should be getting and actually i i am an str type of dk at this very moment but i choose death but why why would you do that why would you do any of that so i don't know what's going on in my mind during that time right i could have choose injury rate which is for damage by the way but i chose defense which is in the long run pays up because i am right now hybrid and my build is any type although my class is str type dk does it make sense oh hell no you better check out my <laughs> hybrid video for that so that you would understand what i'm talking about okay i have a link in the description down below i'll put a card on top as well okay 29 star you have to choose again and yeah there you go i chose critical damage instead of damage reflect are you out of your goddamn mind and my build is energy type so if you're energy type you would need to go for damage reflect and if you are str type go for critical damage it's easy as that and then 33rd star here again is what's going on 
So, injury rate is for damage, but I've chosen injury rate. What? Let's check what injury rate really means if it's gonna show up under stats. Alright, so there you go, gamer. So, we have found out what injury rate means. So, it means open wounds effect activation chance. For me, okay, the way I understand it is this has something to do with bleeding effect, which is only available for STR type of DK. Do you think that's right? If you think that's right, or if you think that's wrong, go ahead and comment it down below again, okay? But that is how I understand it. Here's how it works again. If you are an STR type of DK, definitely choose injury rate. And if you are any type, go ahead and go for the attack. Okay, as simple as that. And then, let's go ahead and go to the 37. So you have to choose again. So this is, I think, I already made up my mind that I would like to go energy type. Again, if you are extra type, go for excellent damage. And then damage reflect if you are an energy type. And then at the 41st star, there you go. Defense for any type. And then injury rate for STR type. So you're getting the idea already, right? Simple as that. 48 star attack speed for STR type DK. And then damage reflect for energy type DK. And then 49 star critical resistance rate, definitely for defense, which is for energy type. And then injury rate for damage or STR type DK. And then 53rd star. Oh, okay, yeah, it's damage reflect. I thought I chose the other one. So damage reflect 2% for energy type DK. And then critical damage plus 10% for STR type DK. And then 57 star, excellent resistance or resist rate plus five percent for excellent damage definitely for energy type in generate again or sdr type i think it's easier to build an sdr type dk right really you think so <laughs> if you agree with that go ahead and comment it down below gamer okay all right and then going to the 61st star so i've activated damage reflect i don't know if you notice it yes i did but it has something to do with the icon as well to make it easier for you okay so energy type reflect and then excellent damage for exterior type and that's the icon for that the fist 65th star critical damage negative for me it's reduction or deduction or because it's subtract it's actually subtraction right what bro what are you talking about man subtraction by the way but yeah it's for me it's resistance deduction subtraction whatever it is and then injury rate again for sdr type and then again damage reflect plus two percent and then attack speed for sdr type so i haven't gone this far yet but uh let's go ahead and check it as well since we already have the information available so yeah i would go for excellent damage plus 10 percent this is confusing all right because there's negative here and then this plus here but for me the way i understand it is excellent damage reduction okay let's just put it that way excellent damage reduction plus 10 percent and then this one is injury rate so for definitely this is for defense and then this is definitely for damage right the 73rd star and then 77th star again you would have to choose defense ignore wow this is nice nice i think five percent of the defense will be ignored and then damage reflect plus two percent oh i can only go to the 79 so i'm not quite sure if this still goes way way up so if there's any other gamer out there who's way beyond this point already go ahead and comment it down below if this is still gonna go up or not because it's the only available for constellation on my end at level 281 i believe so please let us know in the comment section down below okay all right, gamer, and I'd like to make a shout out to Ace Palewa Gloods. Can you make a video about consolation guide for DKSTR? Thank you so much for bringing out this topic. Shout out to you, gamer. And there you have it. If this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share this video to your friends, family, or just anyone who loves playing MU Angel. Share your thoughts, questions, suggestions on the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. So that you'll be updated whenever we have a new video. This is Fred once again. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out to everyone. Keep safe to all of you. And once again, don't forget to take it easy. Goodbye for now. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye now. Yeah.